estimate uh, third year in uh, chemistry. Today we'll be looking at uh, chemical reactions and I want to point out the two chemical reactions we've been studying so far. Combustion reaction and decomposition reaction. Okay. Also like to point out that the phase change we've been studying uh, so far is not a chemical reaction as you quite well know. Phase changes do not change the properties of the compounds and so phase change is not is not meaning, yeah, that means is not a chemical reaction. Combustion reaction, okay, oxygen is used, flame, soot, smoke, sparks, yeah, things that come from heat production can be seen. Um, this oxygen that is used can be oxygen that was internally present in our compound that is being combusted. Uh, so the oxygen is within the compound, like for example uh, TNT, yeah, the stuff in dynamite. And an external, external combustion reaction is a uh, reaction in which the oxygen being used comes from outside air. So this is basically the reaction in our normal daily life. Yeah? Combustion of methane in our kitchen or maybe a wood burner, yeah? that is an external combustion reaction. It can be complete, yeah, then only CO2 is produced, yeah, if we look at the carbon compound. And it's incomplete if carbon monoxide or soot particles in the form of just uh, carbon particles are formed. Combustion reaction, heat production. Remember that, yeah, when there's no heat, we can't talk about uh, combustion reaction. It has to be something else. Decomposition reaction. The reverse is a synthesis reaction. Compound A, yeah, reactant A turns into products B and C. A is a compound per se, and B and C are often elemental substances. Uh, for example, if we look at a thermal decomposition reaction, yeah, so if we need to raise the temperature, in this case to 3000 degrees, yeah, iron oxygen or iron oxide yeah, turns into iron and oxygen. Okay, but we need to raise the temperature, therefore calling it a thermal decomposition reaction. On the other hand, we can use electricity in electrolysis, uh, sorry, ele electrolysis, in which water is split into hydrogen and oxygen. Twice as much hydrogen is formed as oxygen in this electrolysis reaction. The final decomposition reaction, photo photolysis, yeah, decomposition by light, yeah, could be discoloring of your tent, your curtains, or anything that discolors yeah, in, under the influences of light. Could be even a, a, just a t-shirt you wear over summer, and you see at the end of the summer, you see the color has faded. But that might also have to do something with your washing. Two very important reactions, remember them well. Um, I hope this uh, helps you studying for, these, uh, for the chapters that we've been studying so far. And uh, I wish you luck on your test. Cheers.